Hello my friend, happy to see you here and in this video I'm going to solve this interesting problem. So we have 2 to the a plus 4 to the b plus a to the c to equal to 656. And what about natural roots a, b, c? Let's try to find this answer, let's try to find these natural roots. But before solving this, if it's not hard to you, please support my channel with a like and write any comment. I really appreciate it and it helps me a lot when you see your response and I hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, let's try to solve it. First of all, we can easily see that 2, 4 and 8, this is really good numbers, because we can write right here 2 to the a, we still write it as 2 to the a, 4 to the b, we can write as plus 2 square raised to the power b. So this 4 can be written as, as 2 square. This is really good. This 8 can be written as 2 cube, because we know 2 times 2 times 2, of course, raised to the power c equal to 656. So as you can see, my first test step is the next. So we just write it as a base of 2. This is really brilliant right now. And we need to know a really good rule, because if we have a to the power x raised to the power y, we can write it as, we need to write it as a to the power x times y. Let's multiply in right here. And let's multiply. We will have 2 to the power a plus 2 to the power 2b and plus 2 to the power 3c equal to 656. Okay, we have right now this expression. And right now I suggest you to write a real quick substitution because we have 2b and 3c and it's not really easy to work with this coefficient 2 and 3. And I suggest you to write this right here, 2 to the m for example, plus 2 to the p and plus 2 to the power q. Okay, let's work with this m, p and q right here equal to 656. So this change right here, this change and this change. But moreover, this is not like necessary to write it in this order because all base of 2, so it doesn't matter for us what about a solution. But let's try to work with this substitution at first. In the end of the video, we'll find all possible roots real quick. So, as you can see, 2 to the m, 2 to the p, 2 to the q, let's factor 2 to the power m right here from this expression. So, 2 to the power m, and in parentheses, right here, if we factor right here 1, plus 2 to the power p minus m, because we factor in from the second element, and plus 2 to the power q minus m, equal to. What about this 656? Let's write this 656 right here. How can we write it? Let's try to simplify this a little bit. Let's divide it. Or not simplify, let's try to factor it. Let's try to write it as a product. So let's divide by 2. We will have 328. Let's divide by 2 once more. 164. Let's divide by 2. 82. Let's divide by 2. 41. Okay, as you can see, we can write this 656 as 2 to the fourth power times 41. Okay, this is equal to 656 from here after this step, because we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 4 twos, and 1, 41. Okay, and if we look closely to this expression, take a look, we have a product of two elements, 2 to the m times this parentheses, and right here, 2 to the sum power, and times some number right here, some constant. But if you look closely, this is looked like the same on the left, on the right, because we have 2 to the m and 2 to the sum power right here. So as a result, we can write that this expression is equal to this one. This is one and only case that this equation will, will have roots. So 2 to the m equal to 2 to the fourth. And from here, this is maybe the easiest exponential equation with, with the power. So we'll have m equal to 4. As you can see, m equal to 4. This is really good. But let's, in our mind, let's forget about this 2 to the m and 2 to the fourth, because we still have this expression equal to 41. We forget this and we will have 1 plus 2 to the power p minus m plus 2 to the power q minus m equal to 41. Okay? Okay, but this one is really great because we can substitute both sides and as a result 2 to the, to the power p minus m plus 2 to the power q minus m equal to equal to 40. Okay, we have this expression. So as you can see, a little bit simplifying this because we have in the beginning this one. Right now we have this one. So as a result, let's try to let's try to solve it. First of all, I suggest you to factor this element. So as you can see, the first one we factor in the beginning. Let's factor right now this two to the power p minus m. If we factor from here this, what we will have as a result in parentheses right here one and plus we will have two to the power q minus m at first in parentheses and we need to subtract from this p minus m 
because we subtract this we this subtract this parenthesis right here. Okay, equal to 40. But right now, how can we write this 40? Okay, I write it right here. We have 40. Let's divide by 2, okay? We have 20. Let's divide by 2, we have 10. Let's divide by 2, we have 5. Okay, how can we write it? We can't be, can divide this 5. So as a result, one case that we can write this 40 is 2 to the power 1, 2, 3, so 2 cube times 5, okay? Okay, this is really great because this 40 in our minds is 2 cube times 5. What we have on the left hand side, we have 2 to the sum power, as you can see the same as right here, and we have this the parentheses that we solve it uh, later, but right now we have 2 to the power p minus m equal to 2 cube. Let's solve this, this equation. So 2 to the power p minus m equal to 2 cube. From here, p minus m, so p minus m equal to 3, because this is a classic, classic equation, classic expression exponential equation with the powers, but m in our case equal to 4. So as a result p minus 4 equal to 3 and our p equal to equal to 7. Okay, this is brilliant, we find it. Our pi equal to 7. Let's go next. We know m and p and we need to find our the next root, but right here we have this expression, we need to simplify this. We forget in our minds about this one and about 2 cube, we still have this parentheses equal to 5. So what we have right now? We have 1 plus 2 to the power, right here we can subtract it. So q minus m minus p and plus m. So as a result we will have q minus pi equal to, equal to 5. How can we solve it? Okay, let's try to solve it. Let's bring this one on the right hand side. So 2 to the power q minus pi equal to equal to 4. Real quick solution, take a look. We have 2 to the power q minus pi equal to 2 square and q minus pi q minus pi equal to 2. But what about what about um, solution? Because we know pi equal to 7, so q minus 7 equal to 2 and as a result our q will be equal to 9. q equal to 9. As you can see we find all our elements right here but we need to find our natural a, b, c and right now we have m, p and q so we don't need it, we know about a, b, c. But how can we find our all natural roots right here? Take a look closely, really good approach. So we know, I write this equation from here, so we have 2 to the power a plus 2 to the power 2b and plus 2 to the power 3c equal to 656, okay? And under this I write this substitution 2 to the power m plus 2 to the power pi and plus 2 to the power q equal to 656 as well and under these I write all of these that we find. So we find m equal to 4, q equal to 9 and pi equal to equal to 7. Okay? Okay, we have this. But what about natural roots? And a lot of students ask me, okay, we have like a lot of combinations. We have 497, 794, 947, but we need to know about natural natural solution right here. Take a look closely. For example, right here we have 3c. And this 3c can be equal to m, pi, and q. So as you can see, there is no necessary that 3c equal only to q. 3c can be equal to all of these coefficient, all of this solution. But let's look to this 3c. If 3c equal to m, so 3c equal to 4, c will not be equal to natural number, because 3c equal to 4, c equal to like 4 third. Let's go next. If 3c equal to, for example, pi, 7, so 3c will have 3c equal to 7, which is no natural. Let's go next. We still have 9. So 3c equal to q equal to 9, so as a result 3c equal to 9, and from here c equal to 3 will be our first, first solution to this problem. And let's go next, maybe we, we don't find, we will not find like all natural solutions right here. So right now we have c equal to 3, this is great, but let's go next. So we have 2b, for example, equal to, we reject, like in our, in, our, in our minds we reject q right here, we still have p and m. So 2b equal to 4 or 2b equal to 7? Of course 2b equal to 4 and from here b equal to 2. 
okay natural this is really great we find natural second root and the last step it will be really good when a will be equal to 7 will be natural and of course it's natural this is not like a 2a a equal to 7 will be natural natural solution I hope you understand this step this is a really tricky moment right now because a lot of students maybe a lot of students forget about ABC and they write M Q and pi right here a lot of students write like no natural roots but we need natural so this is one and only case when we have natural roots let's check it real quick what we'll have we will have 2 to the 7 plus 4 square and plus 8 cube let's check it real quick so 128 plus 16 and plus 512 which is equal to I guess yeah yeah it's good 656 so our answer our answer a equal to 7 b equal to 2 and c equal to 3 this is our our solution a little bit complicated problem I know but I want to show you and I like this problem so much this is very tricky problems and I hope you will enjoy this video thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos have a great day